1027, talk you can't ignore. So, Pete Anthony. Ah! Right. Talking about the uh, Flight 990 stuff. Ooh. Now they're saying there's the possibility that one of the pilots decided to commit suicide and I kill you and bring I kill you and bring 216 people with him. I am Sarbaz. My tooth, my teeth. They're killing me. I'm a scratch face. Ah! Why? Why are you doing this to me? Ah! That's just a scary thought. Yeah, you got to worry about every other thing that happens. The weather, uh, mechanical failure, some F up, and, and then you, you got a, a co-pilot that wants to cash it in. Well, that's what they're thinking at this point. They can't confirm anything, but yeah, that's where they're leading lately. Putting the information together, that's what they're, the conclusion they're drawing. They want to hand over the case to the FBI, so that's not good news. Like, what are you going to do, though? Arrest the guy? <laughs> I am Tarbash. <laughs> I am pissed off. Uh, I am the Egyptian. <laughs> 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 First, he said some kind of a prayer about death that they picked up on the tape and then just leave. And they, they leave every so often. You, you've seen it. Haven't you seen that? You've been seeing I've your never seen you a, a pilot walk back. How you doing, Dad? Never seen a pilot leave like the cockpit. He's still got the voice. Even, even in the in the <laughs> aisle, like he's walking back, you're like, hey, look, it's the pilot. Hey, Dad, how you doing? <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I'll just be walking to the back. Got to take a leak. And there's no uh, bathroom up here on the uh, flight deck, which used to be called the cockpit. But uh, this guy, it seems, was uh, suicidal. Put the plane into a nosedive, and the pilot gets back just in time to see him shut off the engine. Oh, but look, but look, but look, but look, oh my goodness, what are you doing? And then he, uh, yeah, he gets that great. And then uh, he tries to recover, pulls back on the on the stick. But I guess it was too late. And then someone shut the engines off. That's a good thing to do, I guess. Who knows? They say this plane approached the speed of sound yeah. before it busted up and uh, crashed. And now they're saying it could be because the co-pilot was suicidal. If you're suicidal, please, find a rock, uh, go behind it, and blow your brains out or something. Oh, yeah, yeah that, don't take out other people, you selfish bastards. That is selfish. Selfish, selfish, selfish. Crawl into a hole, do it yourself. This guy now, if this is true, and he commits suicide and takes along 216 people with him, He's a, the biggest mass murderer ever. That's just as bad as going into a place, opening fire, and then shooting yourself in the head. What's the difference? Only instead, could you imagine some guy walking into a, a I don't know, an office building and, and mowing down 216 people and then shooting himself in the head? That would be the hugest of huge story. But it's just a, it's just a, a pilot committing suicide or something. Right. So it's, it doesn't seem that weird. But it's just as bad. I mean, just as bad. This guy took 216 people with him. Man. Yeesh. So they're handing it over to the FBI. Yeah. We're going to find out more soon. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to just put the plane into a nosedive. Uh, enjoy the scenery. If you look out the uh, port side window, you'll, you'll see the uh, wing rip off as we approach the speed of sound. It'll be pretty exciting for the kids. If they want to look out the other side, the engine just uh, ripped right off. It's flaming. <laughs> Uh, that's it. Well, if, if you can't see up front, your window's probably blocked by the uh, fuselage skin that's peeling back like a banana peel. Uh, very exciting sight to see. Uh, oh, look at the water. It's coming up pretty quickly. <laughs> Get your uh, prayers out of the way. Anything else, maybe you want to jot down a quick note because uh, we're all going to die. Uh, thank you for flying, Egypt Air. Those guys are always under control. Doesn't matter what. Doesn't matter what. I was laughing. I was watching some dopey movie, that movie about the sharks and stuff that came out. Deep Blue Sea. Deep Blue Sea, sure. And it was the stereotypical chopper pilot. Chopper pilots, I mean, they're even better than the regular pilots, than airline pilots, because they are constantly just cool. Right. No problem. Right. There is a hurricane that they have to evac people off of this uh, offshore laboratory. The wind is like 200 miles an hour, rain, they can't see anything. The pilot's just like, uh, EDA, uh, five minutes, uh, and his face is just stomping. <laughs> they never like, he looks over at his co-pilot at one minute and goes, holy, <laughs> I can't believe the weather, we're probably going to die. Uh, just a little bit, why don't you get those wipers on high? Uh, look, 
an old flaming ham. Well, I've never seen this before, but I'm sure we could, uh, cut this, no problem. <laughs> Your stewardess is going to come around with your last meal. Yeah. Uh, as we plumb it, uh, try not to puke on, uh, not going to get much more than a finger or anything, so uh, <laughs> you don't have to worry about uh, anyone identifying you. That bang you're going to hear is the sound barrier. We've just crossed it. Uh, stewardess just flew out the back of the plane. They flew in the back of the plane. Uh, very exciting for the kids. Uh, just uh, feel free to crap yourself. Uh, of course, the uh, no crapping light has been turned off. Uh, you're free to uh, crap around the cabin. Tammy, what's going on? I was a flight attendant. You know what the guys do? What do they do in there? Okay, the minute that, yeah, right after you take off, it goes into autopilot. And then after it goes to autopilot, they read books. <laughs> they they read books. books. It's all yeah. automated now, man. They read books at every bump. I'm like, oh, wh what was that? You know, you watch the movies and stuff, <laughs> and you see, video. you see like the pilot. Uh, you know, okay. Uh, this is the tower. You're clear to ascend to uh, thirty thousand feet. <laughs> and then he's like, ah, okay. And, and you see him like pull back on the stick. That doesn't happen. They have a dial with yeah. the altitude. They dial it in, push a button, the plane does the rest. That's it all goes they do. up, goes up to thirty thousand. And they're just reading books, playing cards. I heard, I, I read a whole thing on this. Uh, a typical flight from New York to L.A., and the, the pilot and co-pilot are playing cards. 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 Uh, uh, no fish. Uh, and I'm not, I just, uh, I got four jets. <laughs> uh, here, uh, I watch the turbulence. Things. Yeah, they're always very calm. I'm, I'm very attentive to what the uh, pilot's saying, too, and I hate that because a lot of times the air, like somebody sitting next to you puts the air on so loud that I can't hear it, so you hear like the bing, bing, <laughs> like what? What are you saying? What pilot? I can't hear you. Turn the fan off, damn it! He's talking to me, and I'm only catching like little words that are really alarming me. Yeah. Fire engine three. Total hydraulic failure. No landing gear. Have a nice flight, and we should be at our destination. In the cabin. <laughs> <laughs> like what? What? What did he say? <laughs> I can't hear the pilot. <laughs> Matt, what's going on? Hey, what's up, Ron? Hey, listen, I the year ago I was coming back from Jamaica on an air Jamaica oh, flight, got to be and good. they blew an engine. And they had the Jamaican guy. I think he was smoking a spliff in the cockpit. <laughs> <laughs> and he's and they're telling you how to prepare for a crash landing. Are you serious? People are, I'm being oh. husbands are, are holding hands with their kids, like praying and crying. Oh, that's Talk wonderful. About freaking out the people. I were, and they put the bar away. I was like, where's the bar? <laughs> that's the time to bring it I'm out. Telling you. It's not. It's crazy to me. <laughs> yeah, and we're gonna die. But we all die together. Yeah, we all die, die, die. Together in the flaming crash. We're gonna die together. Help your kids, everybody. Smoke a strip, help it. We still do for now. And that's the big strip. Oh, God, you won't even care. You're going to be ripped to shreds. Plane's full of fuel, you barely feel it when we hit the ground. Looks like a, looks like a big joint blowing up, like a seed exploding in a big fat joint. Man, and they tell you, they tell you, you know, take your shoes off, take your... Is that why they always find shoes floating in, in, the, in the in the water? I always wonder that, like, God, it blew the shoes off them. No, they tell you to take them off. Yeah, yeah, nuts. We're dying! We're dying, dying in the burning crash. We're dying, yeah, we're dying. That's it. Look at the wing, it's covered with bamboo. Ah, uh, Bill. Hey, how you doing, Ode? All right. I got a theory on why that plane crashed. Okay. I'm thinking that the, the pilot. I had too much slurpy, got a major brain freeze, and just couldn't handle it. God. Damn. I am Tarbash. <laughs> I am pissed off. Uh -huh. I am the Egyptian. <laughs> the plane went down. <laughs> oh, my God. I can't drink it no more. That's it, man. That's it. <laughs> ah! Why? Ah! <laughs> You're out there. <laughs> This is your pilot, Tom 